Knees out wide. Starting to move down on our backs. Allowing our knees to fall open with gravity. Allowing our shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a wine box, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your heart to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto your right side, 
in the fetal position, remain here for a few breaths. Then slowly roll over and remove your block and your bolster from your mat. Go back onto your backs. Give yourselves a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then place the soles of your feet on the mat. <laughs> Let's put the feet as wide as the mat. Arms are out on either side, east and west. Inhale first, exhale as those knees fall all the way down to the left. As far as you can, breathing in and out, opening up those hips, opening up your thighs. Again, breathing in and out as you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. We're holding this longer than we normally do. Opening up that fascia. Inhale those knees back to center. Exhale as you allow them to fall over to the right. Again, holding this a little longer than normal today. I saw my surgeon yesterday and I told him that I had done Bakasana yesterday in class. He didn't know what it was, so I showed him and he was really happy. I'm really happy too. I'm so grateful to him. Again, breathing in and out, opening up that fascia as you do so. Slowly inhale back to center and then place the soles of your feet directly below your sit bones. Inhale as you place your hands around that left thigh. Extend your leg, exhale as you draw that leg in. Shoulders back and down, flexing your foot. Again, breathing in and out working towards getting the leg as straight as possible. Don't, don't feel upset if it's not. You can also use a strap for this, placing it around the sole of your foot if you'd like to. You can also grab onto those toes and drag your leg in closer. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, breathing in and out. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. Mm -hmm. 
Again, as we're doing this, sometimes you find some space to move into halfway through. If you do, then just do so. Maybe drawing that like closer to you if this is in your practice. Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out. <clears throat> Then slowly inhale and exhale as you allow that right hand to come down. Left hand falls open with gravity. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, you can use your bolster underneath your thigh if you'd like to. Hold on wherever you'd like, your thigh, your calf, your toes. Again, it's always possible to use a strap for this, sometimes a little bit easier. Keep that right hip down as much as possible. If it's popping up, you are going too far. Take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale. As you drag that left leg to center, extend your right leg, grab onto your toes with your right hand, allow that left hand to fall down towards the mat, and then exhale 
that left leg over to the right as far as you can. Keeping that left hip down as much as you can. And breathe. Again, keep breathing. Your breath is your power. The breath is the way that we open. Make sure that you are breathing in and out. Don't hold your breath. Keep those shoulders down as much as possible. Let's slowly inhale and exhale two times. Then slowly inhale that left leg to center. Exhale as you draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you place your hands around that right thigh. Shoulders are back and down. <clears throat> Exhale as you extend that leg flexing your foot, dragging it towards you as much as possible. Again, you can use a strap. See if you grab onto those toes and drag that leg in. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, you should be finding space as you breathe through the breath. Maybe drawing that leg closer to you as you breathe.
take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you release that left hand down. Exhale as you open up that right leg. Maybe placing a bolster under your thigh if you'd like to. As wide as you can. Breathing in and out. Keeping those shoulders down. Keeping your hips down. Hold on wherever you'd like, onto your thigh, onto your calf, onto your toes. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale to center. Take that uh, right foot in your left hand. Allow that right hand to fall down and extend that left leg. Exhale as you cross over as far as you can. Again, maybe used to using your bolster, keeping those hips down, breathing in.
And remember to breathe. Your breath is your power while you're doing these stretches. So important to breathe in as deeply as possible. Breathe out. No shallow breath. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale back to center. Give yourself a hug, rock back and forth. Exhale as you extend those legs down. Inhale those arms up overhead. Give yourselves a full body stretch as you inhale. And then exhale as you draw those knees in. One more time, inhale, extend those legs out, arms come up overhead. Exhale, this time we're walking those feet to the right as far as you can, arms to the right, into a crescent formation. So we're opening up those left obliques as much as possible, breathing into them, Releasing toxins as we do. Again, this gets to be a little more intense the longer that we hold it. Remember to breathe into those obliques. Send the breath to those obliques. Two more deep breaths here, in and out. And slowly inhale as you draw those arms and legs back to center. Exhale as you move those arms and legs <laughs> over to the left <laughs> as I knock my speaker off. And again, as far as you can, opening up those right obliques, breathing in and out.
more deep breaths here, in and out, in present. Then slowly inhale as we come back to center. Exhale as you draw those knees in for a hug once again. Inhale as you extend those legs below you. Place your hands below your buttocks and walk those elbows in. We're moving into Matayasana. Push in to your mats in, on your elbows and come up on the crowns of your heads. We're breathing in and out in Matsayasana. We're increasing our immunities, opening up those sinuses, opening up that area between our ribcage. Breathing in and out. Let's go ahead and inhale and then exhale as we stick out our tongues. Lion's breath, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Good job. Inhale as you push into those elbows, coming back down on to the backs of your heads. Exhale as you draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth. Good job. Inhale as you extend those legs. Exhale as you roll over onto the left side. Left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Nice. Inhale that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you, drag that right shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out in infinity pose. And again, hold this a little bit longer than we do normally. And smile, it's Tuesday. Slowly inhale as you drag that right knee to center. Exhale, extend your leg. Roll over onto the right side. Right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Again, drag that left shoulder back and down in infinity pose, holding it a little longer than normal.
two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale that left knee to center. Exhale as you extend below you. Roll over onto your backs, draw those knees in for a hug. One more time, rock back and forth. Good job. Place your hands behind your thighs, spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again. Again, allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. And arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana. Good job. <laughs> Place your hands on your knees. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale down onto that right elbow. Again, opening up those left obliques, dragging that left shoulder back and down. Left hip down. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale down to the left. Look up towards the ceiling. Drag that right shoulder back and down. Drag that right hip down. Open up those right obliques. And smile. Inhale back to center. First, inhale as you place those hands on to the mat or the floor in front of you, rolling up into table. Let's go ahead and just open those spines a bit. Inhale first, the cow. Look up towards the ceiling, drag your spines down as much as possible. Exhale. Drag your spines up, gaze at your navels. As you're transitioning, bend those elbows. Inhale. Cow. back to a flat back, curl your toes under, lift your hips, drag your chest back towards your thighs, flatten out your back, shoulders back and down, first Ardha Mukha Shavasana, this is going to be the only one actually, let's go ahead and walk the dog, then inhale that right leg all the way up behind you. Three-legged dog split. Exhale as you swing it forward to the left. Coming into resting pigeon. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Exhale as you walk them forward. Again, coming down onto that left cheek if that's in your practice. Wherever you are is perfect. You can also be on your backs. Wherever you are, again, is perfect. Opening up that right hip, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. should be a little bit easier because of the hip openers that we did earlier. 
we're working towards getting that white cap parallel to the top of the mat. But that's a very difficult thing to do, so don't worry if you're not parallel, but that's the direction you're trying to move in. And this is one of the most healing positions in yoga. Allows us to keep our hips from getting brittle and breaking. It allows us to keep our balance. all of those negative emotions that we may be storing there. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and your right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Possibly take a bind in the Maryantasana twist. Breathing in and out. Inhale to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. Come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana Yogi Squat. Again, placing the backs of your biceps just below your knees, all four corners of your feet growing into your mat. Lift your toes if you can. Inhale from your root chakra to the sacral, to the solar plexus, to the heart, to the throat, to the third eye, and all the way up to your crown chakra, and exhale down again. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale. Place your hands on the mat, inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with that right foot and walk your left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Exhale as you walk them forward, coming down on that right cheek if this is in your practice. Again, we're in resting pigeon. You can be on your backs as well. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit more open than you do normally. Maybe not, that's okay too. Breathing in and out.
back to center, extend your legs and shake them out, bend your knees, arms are out on either side, inhale first, exhale inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae down to the mat, and when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug, rock back and forth. Take your block in hands, place the heels of your feet just below your sit bones, inhale as you push your hips up, place your block on the lowest level underneath your sacrum, inhale those legs up above you, in an inversion, allowing the circulation to come down to your vital organs, down to your brain. just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push those hips up, remove the block, and exhale down. Draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale first, and then exhale everything out. Exhale as loud as you can. Inhale. Exhale. One more chant time. Inhale. Good job. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive down the ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. 
reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. from the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true. I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you all. So glad you were all here. And Thank I'm you. Go. <laughs> Going up to Prescott right now to see my dad. Yay. <laughs> but he's doing a lot better, which is great. So.